Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals and today I have a tutorial for you. I am using these book corners. They came from BB Craft and I will link them down below in the description box. So big, big thank you to them for sending these to me. I love using these for my journal covers where you can add them on the front and the back so I'll show you how I do that but that's kind of what it looks like and I just have some pliers here it would be better if they were um, the flat nosed pliers but I believe these are called needle no wait I'm not too sure I think they are flat but they've got these ridges so it's better if it's got no ridges there but just using what I have and if you don't have that I mean you can just use your uh, fingers and just add some pressure so this is a personal journal that I am putting together I've got all my signatures um, and I've marked all of my um, lines for the three hole pamphlet stitch I've even punched through the holes I just haven't had the energy yet to uh, bind it yet but that's all right we can get straight on to the covers I'm um, sorry the corners so what I'm going to do I've just got some clear craft glue and I just put a little bit of glue in here I don't know if you need it this is just what I've always done <laughs> it gives me a bit more peace of mind what I'm going to do is also start on, at the back cover so if I make any errors on the back it's all good it's a personal journal it's on the back we're all good <laughs> And then I'm just going to squeeze, see how the outside is lifted up. So I just want to squeeze that in as much as I can, just with my fingers. And then, yeah, I think I will want to use the pliers. And you just want to wiggle it just to make sure it's flush. And then it's just a bit of maneuvering. And so that's why I like to use the glue as well because when that dries it's going to catch the cover and we'll have it nice and stuck there like it's not going to move so that is one there and then let's place the other one here that looks very very nice so again i'm just going to place the glue oh i've kind of uh push those in a bit too far <laughs> already but that's all right I think you can put quite a generous amount like you don't want it too much that's so gonna you know squeeze out although you can work around that too anything you can make work and that's just really simple as you can see here but what I love is it just gives the journal such a nice finishing touch So just checking on the outside, this is a test to see how straight <laughs> I cut out my cover. I used um, a box for the cover this time. I thought it was chipboard, but it was a box that I just opened up and cut off the edges. So just going to make sure and then the glue will take over and do the drying. I might just again press it here I'm sure there's a proper tool for this <laughs> but I like just you know be resourceful use what you have on hand and then over here now that I've had a bit of a practice I'm going to pull these ones out and you can get book corners in all different colors sizes and designs so I know you can get silver ones and gold ones. I think these are more the brass tone. And they're quite a large-ish size. I've gotten other book corners before and they were tiny. <laughs> so I couldn't use them because my covers tend to be a bit thicker. And they wouldn't fit on the cover. So just something to be mindful of to look at the size. 
suit whatever journal you are making, depending on the material for your cover. But yeah, I love these. I mean, the journal doesn't need it. You don't need to have book corners for your covers, but it does just add a bit of something, doesn't it? And then the last one up here. Yeah, pretty. And of course it does, you know, protect the edges of your journal cover. So, you know, when you're laying it down on a shelf, slotting it in between two journals and it hits the back wall, you know, the corners can get a bit bashed up. <laughs> so nice to have that extra prote protection as well. But honestly, for me, it's not really there for protection. It's just there for the aesthetic. Just there for how it looks. And I love it. Of course, the brass lends itself more to the vintage look, which is great. I think, honestly, though, if I were to choose a colour for this particular journal, I probably would have gone silver because silver and blue is my favourite colour combination. But vintage is good too. Vintage, um, you know, it's already got this kind of vintage look here. And so it's my personal journal. I'm happy with it as it is. I just want to make sure go around again and <laughs> make sure these are all pressed down and they're not going to come off. And then I'll let that dry. Yeah, I think that glue just does help a lot. Okay, so that is my finished journal cover. I will put in a an eyelet here so I can put a dangle down the spine as well, and then it'll be finished. But yeah, that is my cover with the book corners. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And maybe if you wanna check out your own book corners for your own journals, um, BB Craft has all different types, sizes, colors, designs. So feel free to check that out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.